Hello everyone, it's Ulysses, and today we're in Osaka with my friends Samuel and Alex. They're behind the camera. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you there. I'm the cameraman. Hey. Hey, baby. How's it going? And we're going to be doing a What's in Our Camera Bags 2021. Except for I only have the 2021 version I've never done before. <laughs> the main reason I want to do this is because I feel like with most What's in Our Camera Bag videos, they're either one, they're sponsored, um, and two, it's like people put in shit in their bags so that they don't use intentionally so that it makes the video better and longer. Um, but this time, because I'm with my friends, mainly who are street photographers, and we usually like to pack light. So I think it's kind of a good indication of what normal photographers might have in their bag. Obviously, we have filming equipment right in front of my face. So it's not entirely, you know, I would say like street photography e because for example sometimes I might might not even bring a bag but yes that's exactly why I thought it would be a good idea to show a bag of a photographer just in their normal shoot does that make sense yeah. thank you hey so let's head towards Alex and then he will show us what is in his bag oh hi Alex <laughs> oh hi hi there how's it going pretty good uh, how's your day been? Oh, very good. Very good. Doing some street photography of the local bachans. Uh huh. Okay. Well, <laughs> by the way, what's in your bag today? Ah, uh, what's in my bag? Here it is. Okay. Well, that's relatively small compared to most what's in your bag bags. Yeah. <laughs> what's in your bag bags? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a street photography. This is not a photography bag mm -hmm. at all. But I like it said single shot. Uh -huh. That's like half the reason I bought this bag. Does, this, does, does that have anything to do with North Face? No. It has everything to do with me because I only need one shot, baby, to get you uh, into, my, into my heart. Okay, let's open this bitch up. Come on. <laughs> uh, open this up and I have a mask, uh -huh. which uh. I should be wearing. <laughs> um, I have tissues. Enter hate comments. Right. Um, I have tissues. Then I have wow, uh, iPhone 11 Pro, which uh, is not, not your main camera. Oh uh, no, not my main fam. Not, not, not my main camera. Not my main camera. Uh -huh. uh, but main event is <laughs> you're very sanitary. You're some <laughs> uh, sani wipes uh, to stay clean. My wife gave me these Aww. before I left. Because so she thought you were dirty. Thanks, honey. Mm. Um, she wants me to stay sanitary. Uh, a red pen. Uh huh. Do you write notes I, like of what you take? Uh, sometimes I do. do. Sometimes I do. But I forgot my notebook, so okay. So that's useless. not. Yeah. So that's not. Doesn't make any sense, does it? Yeah. Let's go on. Oh, coffee. Uh huh. Coffee's good because uh, I'm an adult who gets sleepy after 5 p.m. <laughs> and okay. I like how for now, like nothing has been indicative indicative of right. photography at all. Right. Because I'm a human being, not a machine. Damn you. Um, Some Migos rhyme shit. Yeah. Uh, like I have a normal a bag because I find that when I travel, I get random stuff all the time. Like today, um. I got a t-shirt. <laughs> so where am I going to fit a t-shirt into a photography sling bag of something, right? So I always take just like a normal backpack with me. Uh huh. Um, okay, here we go. Extra batteries. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, here's the main event. This main is what event. Okay. all the nerds want to see is this, is this port is this something that comes with the bag or is it a different no. thing for your camera this is something else that i bought um, okay and it is a camera pouch mm -hmm. inside i have my leica m10 oh wow keep that protected yeah yeah leica m10 i got the leica case on it uh -huh. i got the voigtlander uh 35 millimeter uh f 1.4 mark ii MC Nocton Classic. So is that your, this is your main setup? 35 This mil? is, yeah, this is, 35 is my favorite focal length. And um, I, I like 50 for street portraits mm -hmm. and I like 28 for candid street photography. Uh -huh. But uh, if I'm only gonna bring one lens, I wanna bring something in between and that's a 35. I see. Yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Definitely a good uh, travel focal length. Yeah, an overpriced lens hood. <laughs> and a 64 gigabyte card in that and an extra battery okay. for the m10 which is so expensive what were the other batteries in your bag that was for oh that was for uh, my gopro okay, okay oh and my gopro sorry 
I have GoPro. That's a that's more of a filming thing. Yeah. Yeah. I do some POVs every once in a while, mm -hmm. shoot some B-roll, set it someplace, and then shoot a spot if I'm doing a little um, hunting. Uh-huh. Right? Um, GoPro Hero 8. Nice. Not bad. And um, that's it. That's what's in my bag. What are you wearing there? Oh, this oh, this is actually really cool because this is uh, the brand Japangelis. Uh, it's from Little Tokyo, Los Angeles. And uh, I bought this jacket years ago. This is like a little clothing brand from Little Tokyo in LA. Uh -huh. And uh, it says it, it's Katagana on the back there. Mm. And uh, nice. yeah, it's, it's a cool jacket. Uh -huh. and, uh, that's it. And I got some shoes, comfortable shoes. I think yes. comfortable shoes. That's good. That's comfortable good shoes are very, very important uh, when you go out and you do street photography, because if your feet hurt and you can't walk anywhere, you can't take any photos. You can't take any photos. You can't get any likes. You can't get any likes. You don't get any chicks. You don't get any chicks. You get. You have no money. Wait. Which way? Which way around is it? Oh well. Catch twenty two. Thank you for showing us your setup. You're welcome. And you're close. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. And then. You're next, boy. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so next we have Samuel from Samuel on Street. That's not his YouTube name. But yeah. uh, please let us uh, see your setup. All right. So, um, yeah, maybe before we start, I have my camera around my neck already because um, that's how I roll. Mm -hmm. I have my camera out, not in my back. Oh, by um, the way, by the way, actually, I didn't yeah. go, go over this with Alex, but but how do you hold your camera? Do you have it around your neck usually or? Um, so because this is very spontaneous, uh, this is not how I usually carry my camera. Yeah, yeah just as asking. As you know, I dropped my camera because my strap uh, loosened up. So I actually dropped this camera uh, yeah. hip high. <laughs> and I had to get a new strap and uh, yeah, for all of you Fujifilm shooters. <laughs> oh man, that's a sin. <laughs> uh, I hope you can bear the rest of this video. Um, so that's why I have this strap. Usually I like to have um, a strap cross body uh -huh. and then under my jacket so I can like, have the camera here. Uh -huh. And whenever I want to hide it, you know, I can hide it, I can bring it up. But today, yeah, I just have my camera around my neck. Um, but I prefer to have my camera in the hand, in the hand when mm -hmm. I'm shooting. Um, but if, if I'm just going somewhere, then uh, a neck strap or as you guys know, I have a GR3. I don't know. I shouldn't pretend everyone knows that. But <laughs> I have my Ricoh GS3 always in my pocket, which I don't didn't bring today. Oh. Thanks for doing this today, by the way. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. No. So yeah. Cool. This is, this is today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's yeah. get into the bag. Okay. Then. Uh, this is my main bag uh, at the moment. This is the Peak Design Everyday Sling, 10 mm -hmm. liter. Uh, shout out to Ricoh because they actually. <laughs> gifted this to me. This is why it's uh, Pentax branded. Oh, this is real. This isn't like a sticker. Anything. No, I didn't do this. So wow. this is, I think Pentax, uh, Rico in Germany sells or sold these bags in collaboration yes. with Peak Design. I don't know. Um, so yeah, um, I used to own the five liter sling, the smaller one, which is much nicer to carry because it's small. But I need this because I'm also carrying this camera uh, mm -hmm. to film myself and videos this is by the way the Fujifilm XE4 yes and which I am using for my video yeah. Samuel's gear right now so exactly. thank you thank you no 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 problem <laughs> so you're looking at this crispy nice 4k footage Fujifilm Eternal profile and um, uh, yeah let's get this all out of the way so the lens is the Fuji non XC the cheap uh, 15 to 45 millimeter mm -hmm. Uh, zoom lens, yeah, I have a ND filter on it, and my microphone is a Sennheiser MKE 440. And yeah, so you won't see it now, but this is why I have to have this back. Yeah, okay. So. But you don't, you don't. Damn YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So my, I guess my point is then, mm. you don't. Do you shoot photos with XC4 or? No. No. Uh, I mean. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, so it's, it's your video camera. It's only my video, my my small little vlogging setup. Yeah. I see. Do you think so? Without this camera, would you use a bag, or do you have a? Would you use something smaller? Uh, if I'm only going out to shoot pictures, um, if I can, I, I like to bring no camera bag, uh -huh. just a camera around my neck or in my pocket. Uh huh. Uh, when I used to own the five liter sling, oh, I, I have forgot to mention this. Uh, the five liter sling, the zippers. 
um, they broke. By the way, this bag has the same issue. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I mean, it's still working, but um, yeah, hmm. I'm not going to buy any Peak Design uh, anytime soon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, whoa, 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 whoa. But I have to <laughs> use it because I, I don't have anything else. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So yeah, yeah. If I, yeah, I don't like carrying bags, and no yeah. one does. But yeah, yeah, that's true. And I think I have to switch to like a, a backpack because it's easier on the shoulders. And, but it is a nice bag. But it's not. So nice after all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get out of what's in the bag. Then. Okay, okay. So let's let's open it up. Well, here's my stuff. Um, first of all, some tea I just bought. Then uh, I also got a T-shirt. <laughs> oh, it's the same as uh, Alex got. Can I like plug stuff? Yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, the rest. It looks pretty empty because everything is outside at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I have a little Baller. dust. Blower mm -hmm. for blowing. For blowing. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, I usually carry one extra lens. If I have a bag, then why not carry an extra lens? Hmm. And this is uh, a pouch from a viewfinder accessory. It's just the best pouch I have. It's very nice. protective. Yeah, it's simple. And then I have a lens inside. This is the Void Lender 35 Ultron. F2. That's for the M series camera. Yeah, for the M series camera. Um, nice lens, uh, very sharp, but has a vintage look to it. Um, it's my fastest lens, so I carry it. Wait, what millimeter was it? Sorry? 35. 35, what's yeah. this? Oh, yeah. Um, so this is the 28 Elmerit 2.8. Um, I didn't bring my lens suit today, but this is the most current version. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it's great. Yeah, I like, really like it. It's very sharp. It, has nice colors, hmm. very nice colors. Uh, it, it, it's it's very modern looking. Uh, there's not much character, but I like it for <laughs> it's not much no. But I like it for how clean it is. Uh -huh. And yeah, camera is the M M two six two by the way. Um, this is what I'm currently trying to master. Uh, but I often carry my GR in my pocket uh -huh. if I want to have autofocus. So. Nice. So you shoot both thirty five and twenty eight. No. Yeah, well, actually, I, I, I actually prefer 35 hmm. more. Nice. So it's a nice lens. I like 28 a lot. It's just very hard with this camera to compose right <laughs> on 28. Um, That's true. That but the GR is 28, so I like 28 a lot. But nowadays, with uh, you know social distancing and stuff, um, I actually shoot a lot of 50 and 35. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, but because everything's further. Yeah, but I want to shoot closer. That's why I have the 28. I like the look. Sweet, okay. So yeah, there's more. Um, I don't want this to be too long, but I have um, a lav mic here, Rode Smart Lav Plus, hmm. and I'm using it with the Rode Wireless Go okay. that I only, only brought today just in case if we want to film something. So batteries. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so batteries, yeah. So I have a bunch of Fuji batteries, obviously. Because they die. None of them are original. Oh, fake. Uh, yeah, they die fast. I have one big beefy Leica battery. I don't really need it. That's oh, it's big. wet. Oh. And yeah, the battery life is amazing. I never really need to charge this camera. Uh, maybe once a week is fine. Nice, yeah. nice. That's great. Uh, that's it. Batteries here. And then I have an extra mask. Uh, just in case. Okay, so you throw up in your yeah, first one? Exactly. Uh, a UV what filter for my video cam. Uh, <laughs> UV filter? Huh. Yeah. Extra SD cards. And I don't have internet at the moment here in Japan. I don't. Have, I didn't buy a SIM card. So I'm, I'm, this is the, my wife's phone. And I use it to create a hotspot so I can use my phone. So thank Got you it. for letting me use your phone. That's it. Great. So, so. <laughs> any any story to your sneakers? Uh, yeah, there's actually a story to the sneakers. So if I could buy them again, I wouldn't necessarily. So the story is, I went to Bulgaria in summer last year, and I stepped into a big puddle, which was very nasty, and I couldn't get the smell off of my shoes. Oh. So I had to buy new new ones on the same day, and. Uh, these were the only ones that were available at that day. Uh -huh. um, but I have to say they are comfortable and um, a little pro tip for anyone 
uh, having flat feet like myself and huh. uh, or just in general is oh, sorry <laughs> is to get insoles so I have insoles that are actually uh, made for my feet really or not really made uh, but uh, you can go to like a a runner's point or like a mm -hmm. to like a place where they can like measure your feet uh -huh. and tell you which insole is the best for you I see, to I reduce see. like stress but yeah i've been using them i don't know five months now and um without them my feet start to hurt yeah because we street photographers walk a lot mm. yeah what I'm shoes assuming. do you have oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> are we going there <laughs> okay cool well thanks for sharing everything yeah and you can talk about my stuff then. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> so let's see your bag. My bag. Okay. So I generally never have camera bags because mm. they don't look good. <laughs> and also because I like to go really light. Um, so yeah, and backpacks, I don't know, they're tiring, right? Yeah. yeah. And you know, I do YouTube stuff, but I'm, when I'm outside, I usually don't carry too much YouTube gear just because I'm trying to focus more on, on my photography usually. Mm -hmm. So my setup is usually extremely light. And uh, yeah, I always have this in my hand. Uh, so like a cue usually, and I usually have it like this. Uh, so I don't drop it, which I've had already dropped multiple times, but this I is like how the, I- like the battle scars. Yeah, it's getting kind of crazy, but the hood takes, takes it all, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's all bent. And I could, sometimes I can't even take it off because it's like jammed in here. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my main thing. And you always have it around your body, wearing, wearing your camera all the time? I always have it like yeah. this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. If like, I don't know, if like I'm eating or something, mm -hmm. then I might have it around my neck or, or... Do you ever put the camera in your bag? No, I don't, oh, no. Okay. And uh, let's see, pockets. What, what bag is this? What, what is this it? is a L.L. Bean, I don't know, some vintage, out, outdoor thing Thanks. and it's be I use waste bags because you I usually use waste bags if I do have a bag because when you have like like a sling on mm. it I don't know I feel out of balance and mm. I don't know for my street photography I'm always very concerned about how like I don't know how comfortable I am right because yeah. if you mm. if you feel like out of place then mm. it just makes your day bad doesn't it Yes. <laughs> no, it's, Sigh. It says I'm always out of balance. And I, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I could it's like, rough. have just like this kind of bag around me. And... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam always has a lot of stuff. Like with someday him. I will walk like this. Yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. Yeah, I was a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, before I get in the bag, another thing that's very important to me. Uh, AirPods. Yay. Because I listen to music usually when I take photos. Some people... Um, Oh, Some people, uh, that, that's a con yeah, that's a controversial topic, it seems like. But, not always, but I, I like having uh, music on while I take photos. Yeah, I do half the time. Yeah. What is the, the music that makes you most pumped when you go out to shoot street? Oh, it usually, it doesn't matter. It depends on yeah. how I feel. Because, like... That's does the music influence the way you shoot? I'm starting to think it does. I'm starting to think it does, yeah. Usually, I don't think it does, but I'm sure in some way I'm affected. I'm affected, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But yeah, I have these uh, in my pocket usually. On my phone. I have my phone, which I do take photos with sometimes. And I'll be honest and say, like, usually that's it. <laughs> usually that's pretty much it. I'm, I might not even have a bag and I just, this is like all I carry. Mm -hmm. I have keys in my pocket and that's it. But, oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> but yeah, for my bag, uh, let's see. I have some filming Man, gear. This is so messy. This is crazy, right? Yeah. I feel like a grandma. I have glasses because my eyes are bad, actually. And if if I'm seeing, especially at night, then I wear my glasses. Yo, yo, sh sh show your glasses and give us more info on that. I know people are always asking in your videos. Like, Why? Yeah, they're always yeah. asking about my glasses. Yeah. I have a few glasses. These are <laughs> Moscot classic, uh, yeah, black frame glasses by the way, if you wanted to know. Okay, and these days, this is another camera that I've been using a lot. I got it mainly for YouTube and filming, but uh, I'm becoming really uh, lazy and I end up shooting with this a lot just because it's so small and it fits in, literally fits 
in a pocket. Um, so yeah, this is nice and it has a zoom. I don't even know how big the sensor is. I don't even know the image quality. I don't know how many megapixels it has, but, <laughs> but I've taken some decent photos on it, so I'm pretty comfortable. But yeah, so I, these days I'm trying to do some YouTube stuff with this too. I have a Zoom audio recorder that has failed on me today already for videos and that's it. And sometimes, what? yeah. No, sorry, what's the tape for? The tape? This is so like if I'm doing, if I use a lav mic, it's so that I could have tape anytime. Yeah. Okay, so you use this to tape the lav mic onto your chest maybe? Or... Yeah. Ah. Yeah, which I didn't do today. I have a few SD cards, SD card case. Super unnecessary, by the way. Is it the expensive Pelican one? I think. There's a bunch of shit in it, too. But um, I think... It, no, no, it's fake. It's a fake Pelican. Oh, okay. It's probably fine. Some... I shouldn't say this, but some Chinese brand. Uh, that was really cheap. Really cheap. But uh, yeah, SD cards because, uh, yeah, we're doing some filming. Um, so usually you might not carry this case because mm. it's too much. Pass case, money, fat, fat wallet, with garbage on it again. Uh, gummy bears. It's really yes. important. Your secret. That's your secret. I get super pissed off when I'm hungry. So I try to keep sane by eating constantly. Which is also why gum. Gum because uh, I chew gum a lot when I when I shoot because it just it totally relieves relieves your stress. It kind of does, yeah. And also it's really big in case you're meeting the ladies. Yeah, right. I don't know. I never do actually. But <laughs> don't uh, talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> you're married. But yeah, lens cap for the Leica QP, which I actually never use and never have on me. But you have it though? because uh, we're on the trip. No. So I brought it to oh, Osaka wow. just just in case. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah, this this fits in like this. There we go. Nice uh, cap condom thing. Okay. Mm. Shoot batteries, like a QP batteries, which are numbered one and two. Don't ask me what is in the camera right now. Um, Number four. It's actually non-numbered, so this doesn't make any sense at all. But, uh, Canon battery for the for my uh, G7X Mark II. And uh, I have a battery this time for uh, charging my phone because we're in somewhere else. So if I'm lost, then I might need Google Maps. Wow. There's more? That's it. That's <laughs> you it. You actually have a lot of stuff to fit in this small bag. Yeah, I do. Well, it's because I carry this in my hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you, can uh, put your, you can put all of your stuff in your bag. Yeah. The camera has to be out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, actually. Maybe, yeah. But usually I would say, again, like, I. I have my camera, I have my earphones, and I have my phone, and that's usually it. So, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> okay. okay, so thanks guys for watching this video. I hope it was somewhat informative or interesting, and thank you to our guest today. Guest? Are you guys in frame? I don't know. <laughs> Make sure to follow yeah. Alex on Streets on Instagram. Like and subscribe. Alex on Streets. Uh huh. Uh, 4chan, Alex on Streets. <laughs> uh, OnlyFans, Alex on Streets. Oh. And uh, follow on me streets. on uh, YouTube, Alex on Streets. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's <co> the <laughs> yeah, Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching until the very end. And for today's video, um, I again thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an amazing online learning platform that allows you to learn many, many different things, whether it's, you know, photography, whether it's cinematography, whether it's something maybe not too intriguing, but necessary, like finances. Skillshare has got you covered with intellectuals explaining all the basics to you um, through intriguing and very engaging videos. A video that I've been watching recently on Skillshare is a video by Craig Whitehead on street photography. In that video, Craig Whitehead, a uh, quite you know, popular street photographer, explains you know, how he takes photos in the street, how he edits them, some theories that he has on things like color, composition, ambience, um, things like that. It's amazing to be able to access the thoughts and the knowledge of people that are you know, quite, quite up there in that genre. Membership fees are less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And the first 
1,000 people to click on the link below in the description uh, gets a free trial to Skillshare Premium. The content of this video itself is in no way uh, affected or influenced by Skillshare. Um, so I thank Skillshare for being a very honest and helpful um, sponsor. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one and sayonara. Goodbye.